On today's episode, I've got 10 new holiday hacks for you. I really think you're gonna like these ones. But before we get started on the first one, I wanna thank AG1 for sponsoring this episode. I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about them in just a second, but for now, we're gonna get right into our first hack. So my very first hack, I am so excited to share with you because it's so simple but packs a punch. We are gonna convert regular green candles into candles that look like Christmas trees. It's simple, it's easy, and looks so classy. So you're gonna take a green taper candle of your choice and you are gonna soak it in the hottest tap water that you can get out of your tap, fill that up in a vase, and then we're gonna set our candle in it and let it set for the first time for about a minute to a minute and a half. This is to soften up the candle wax and make it easier to work with. And you can see that my candle doesn't fit entirely in it, but that's okay. It works out just fine. So then you're going to take a straight edge and you're going to drive it in at a 45 degree angle. The candle wax should be hot enough that it, this happens easy. And at the very end, you're going to just gently, ever so gently, lift it up a little bit. And then you're gonna kind of do this in a spiral motion all the way around your candle. And you're kind of gonna stagger them. And the idea is to make it look like little pine tips. And so you just do this all the way up and you're going to have to continually put it back in the water, heat it up. You don't wanna get it too hot that it will melt. So that's why I don't recommend throwing it in the microwave or anything like that. You just wanna get it pliable enough. And you'll notice that when it starts starts to cool down, you'll get a little bit more pushback and that's the time you wanna stick it back into the hot water. And then on mine, like at the very end, I had to put it upside down to do the top part. You just keep working yourself all the way to the end. Then you're gonna to wanna to let it dry all the way because we got the wick wet and you don't wanna light it wet. But this does not take very much time at all. It's super easy. The key really is to make sure that the candle is warm. I found that keeping the candle warm was a lot better than keeping the straight edge warm. So just keep that in mind, dry it out. So obviously I have it right here behind me and it's in that joy candlestick that I found on our thrifting adventure. If you haven't seen that episode, it's a really good one. I highly recommend it. It looks so classy, so adorable. I love this hack. It's simple. It's a beginner project. Anybody can do this and you get a beautiful look. And if you want white Christmas trees, you can just do a white candle. So I hope you really enjoyed this hack. Okay. So for our next hack, you know, I have to do something kind of Santa themed because in one of my previous hack episodes, I made this beautiful Santa pillow that was so easy to do. I came up with an idea to repeat this in a similar fashion on a towel. And so that's what we're gonna do is I picked up some red towels at Walmart, very inexpensive. We're gonna do two different ones. The first version is we are gonna do Santa's body. So I just folded it in thirds and then I kind of folded it in thirds again. We're gonna take some faux fur ribbon. You can find this so easily, especially this time of year. I've seen it at Michael's, I've seen it at Hobby Lobby. They usually have some sort of white faux fur ribbon this time of year. That's what you're gonna need. If you can't find it, then there's a lot of substitution and just go cut down some actual fur and you can do it that way. I like the ribbon because it's super simple. Now I'm just reusing the stuff from this previous hack that I had mentioned and all we're gonna do is pin it to the underside of the first flap, wrap it around the middle and pin it to the back flap. The Santa belt was from a previous hack. So how we made it was I just took a Dollar Tree tiny little frame and then I just hot glued it to a three inch black grow grain ribbon. That was it for that belt. Then what we're gonna do is I've pretty much gotten rid of all the regular towel bars in my house. So I had to go find one in my son's bathroom that I hadn't ripped out yet. So it's not like the cutest decor in there. What I did is then I wrapped the towel how I wanted it on the display and then I took the belt and just safety pinned that around the back and that is it. You could do this in a matter of minutes. It's so festive. It looks so good. I think it's just so adorable and would look adorable in any bath. You could do the same thing and kind of sit it on a ledge of a bathtub if you wanted to. There's a lot of options here, uh, but I came up with a second towel one. We've done the body and now we need to do 
the hat, of course. So for this Santa hat, you're gonna need like uh, just a hand towel. And what I was thinking is that we would appropriately size that. Again, we're gonna fold it in thirds. And while I was at Walmart, I found this white pom-pom ball in the craft section, like their sewing section, and it already had like a little loop on it. If you know how to make pom-poms from scratch, I've done that before. It's super easy. You could totally go that route as well and make your own little pom-pom, but this was ready to go and I loved that. So all you're gonna do is feed the towel through that loop and get it to the center. Now you could third this, it does make kind of a little bit longer of a hat, a taller hat, I guess you will. And so if you wanted to third this idea and do it that way, you could do it. But I just found exactly center and I did that. Before we hang it on our hand towel bar, I took a little bit of that fur trim again and I safety pinned it to the front of our towel just to stabilize it. I didn't want to permanently attach these because I wanted all of these towels to be functional and usable after the fact. This is just a holiday hack and it would be nice to have some usable towels when we're done. <laughs> but I didn't safety pin it on the back just yet because first we need to feed that through the towel bar and then I finish wrapping it all the way around to the back and safety pinned it on the back side and that is it. So now you'll notice that this hat is a little bit longer. So like I said, you could kind of do the similar idea as we did with a Santa body and kind of tuck up that bottom part underneath and shorten it a little bit. And that would look really, really cute. But this is so adorable, so easy to do, requires no sewing, and you haven't permanently altered your towels, but really lends itself to some holiday cheer. So I hope you enjoyed that hack. So for our next hack, I have really had this idea and I wanted to get Dollar Tree items for it. I went to Dollar Tree and they didn't have what I was looking for. I was looking for like one of those clear fish bowls and a clear glass plate. I went to Target looking for something similar. They didn't have anything, so I left Target with a candle. <laughs> you know how it goes. But then I got thinking about it and I thought I could make the same concept with things that I already had on hand. And that was really all we needed was a clear vase and a clear glass plate. And I remember that Lisa had given me a Merry Christmas plate a couple of years ago for Christmas that was clear and it was awesome. So I went ahead and used what I had on hand, which is perfect because I think that you can take the similar concept and just see what you have around your house to make it happen. All we're going to do from this point is we are going to fill the bottom of our vase with some fake snow or you could use Epsom salt if you wanted to. I like the glitter of the fake snow, but Epsom salt is beautiful and looks like realistic snow. So you can't go wrong. Whatever you have easily accessible to you will work for this. Then I just took some sprigs of winter greenery and then also some like berries that had been sugared and just tucked that in the inside of this vase. My plan is, is to put the glass plate on the top to create like a decorative plate for treats and for holiday events, but I didn't want like the glass to knock off and I didn't want to permanently affix it with something like epoxy. So my solution for this is using double sides tape and I just put it in a, like on opposite sides in four different places. Then I carefully centered the plate that Lisa gave me over the center of that and pressed it down. I mean, it's not on there permanently, but if somebody bumped it, it's not gonna go flying off. So I liked that. And that's it. You can use this to serve beautiful cupcakes. Now the cupcakes that you're seeing in this, I have done a previous holiday hack episode on those cupcakes. So I'll make sure to include that in the links below. So adorable and so festive. I think it would look really cute to have like a coconut flaked cake on top, so snowy and festive. There's just a lot of possibilities. I think this is adorable. I also think that you could sneak in some fairy lights, which is what I really wanted to do, but I couldn't find them when I was doing this, but it still looked festive, beautiful, and I love how this turned out, and I hope you love it too. In just a second, we are gonna be making a really fun white Christmas mocktail that is so festive. But before we do that, I want to share with you a drink that I drink every day and have been for months. So we do a lot of DIY projects on this channel, but the biggest DIY project that I've been working on this year is my health. And I wanna thank today's sponsor, AG1, because I've been actually taking AG1 for months now. I can tell you that this has made such a profound difference in my life. So I'm gonna show you how I drink it, and then I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about it and what it is actually done for me. All you need to do is a scoop of this but I add some guava mango to mine and make it 
like I like it, put the cap on, and then I shake it. So you notice I didn't fill it all the way up, and then I'm gonna fill it up with some more water, and then we're gonna add a ton of ice. Then I shake it up so it's nice and cold. I'm kind of weird, you could just drink it normal, but I always like to drink it with a straw. So I drink this every morning. It tastes really good. The AG1 mixed with whatever drink you do. I've seen some people like it with apple juice. Some people like it straight up. I just do that guava mango and it's like a refreshing treat. One big thing is when I got really sick, at that time I was drinking 36 ounces of diet soda. I know, it's like a ton. I was so drained all the time and so I was trying to get that caffeine rush. When I got sick, I gave that up immediately. Then once I quit it, I was like, oh, I just don't feel like I have any energy. So one of the biggest things that from drinking AG1 is I have energy, but better than I did even drinking all of that caffeine, but I don't have like the negative side effects from diet soda. Like, don't, oh my gosh, if you're drinking it for the energy, like this is so much better. I don't know if you notice, I really feel like it's improved my skin. If you look at me like a year ago, I look different, like my skin tone, like I had like raccoon eyes. This is a part of like a bigger thing that I'm doing. I'm trying to eat like and be a little bit healthier. I've lost about 25 pounds and so overall, I'm just trying to take better care of myself. So I drink this as a part of like my foundational nutrition. It gives me all of the basic stuff. I know that it's supporting my immune health, supporting my gut health. And like, I know the quality is there. They go through a lot of testing and a lot of places will give you sketchy vitamins. And so it's just really, really important to take care of you. And that is because I really discovered the hard way that you cannot give from an empty well. I absolutely can say confidently, like AG1 has helped me tremendously. It helped me before they even reached out to me. So if you are interested in making AG1 a part of your daily health routine like myself, click on the link below. Not only will you get your package of AG1, it will come with a canister. It will also come with a year's supply of your vitamin D3 and K2, especially good for this time of year when you're getting less sunlight, as well as five travel packets. And you know I am putting those travel packs in my bag because I really do notice a difference when I don't drink it. Anyways, that is my little plug and it's like, from the heart and I just want all of you to have the help you deserve. We cannot give from an empty well. Let's take care of us. Cheers. <laughs> So now let's make our fun white Christmas mocktail. There's gonna be like a sweeter way and then there's gonna be a way I do it. So there's options. So now it's time to make that mocktail that I was telling you about. And I gotta give you a caveat up front is I actually tried a mocktail recipe off of Pinterest and it was just so nasty. I was gonna make this clean Whole30 version of it and it just, I tasted it and like, I am not sharing that recipe. <laughs> that is gross. So this is my version and it is gonna have sugar in it, but there's balance in life, right? Moderation and all things. And I think it's fun, especially at the holidays to have a little treat anyways. I'm including this, even though I necessarily might not partake. <laughs> Maybe I will. I think it's okay to have a little treat here and there. Anyways, here's what we do is so I found this like coconut protein shake, but I think it would also work if you found like a coconut milk or something like that. Something that's a little bit thicker though. I did a two to one ratio of this coconut protein shake drink that I found at the store and then a lime seltzer water. And then I also put in a couple of tablespoons of this coconut cream syrup. So this is where the sweetener comes in because that coconut creamer that I'm showing you is pretty sweet. And then I just mixed it up with my little frothing mixer and made sure that it was really, really mixed well because this is a mocktail. You could make it an adult beverage if you wanted, but in our house, we're dry. So feel free to alter this to work for you. If you wanted to turn it into an adult beverage, there you go. Then I thought it would be fun to sugar the rim. So I just made sure that the rim of the glass was wet. And then I put a little bit of sugar on a plate and then I twirled it to sugar that rim. And then I filled it full of some ice. And then I poured this coconut drink over the top of the ice. And then I put 
put a couple of sprigs of mint on the side to garnish it and then a scoop of pomegranate seeds to finish it off and it really has this winter wonderland mocktail vibe it's so cute and more importantly i did taste it and it does taste really good so just to sweeten it to the level that you're comfortable with it's not only festive but it's adorable and i think that this would be such a fun drink to serve at your christmas festivities it's just awesome i love it but if you didn't like this combination i did come up with a couple of different options at Publix, they had this amaretto inspired like milk drink thing it's white it tastes really good as well you could do that if you wanted something super quick and easy just pour that over the ice you don't have to mix anything the other idea that i had that would be really really fun is to get like a frozen pina colada to mix up a white pina colada i think this one in the can makes it a little bit more white than some are more yellow but i think that was one's a little bit more white and then just do the same garnishments but with the pina colada and i think that, that could be really cute really fun as well so just a couple of options for you on this fun little drink okay so my next hack is a gift wrapping hack that is meaningful and special so the idea is is that you take a photo and maybe you turn it into a black and white photo and you print it out you can either do this at home or print it out at the store but either way you want to have a black and white photo of maybe like a really special and meaningful moment the one that you're seeing here is my husband and myself on our wedding day and i just love it because we just you can just see the love in our eyes <laughs> like such a sap i love my husband he's the best and i just love this photo so then i just cut off the edges then i wrapped my gift if this was just an example so i just took a book and i wrapped it in some brown craft paper i used the dollar tree tape i wouldn't recommend it it did not hold that very well so get the good stuff if you're going to use the craft paper this dollar tree tape was just terrible and then what i did is i took a big section of black ribbon and wrapped that just around the long side and then i took some packing tape to tape it on the back because i'm like there's no way that the other tape's going to hold it and it's thick ribbon so i'm going to use some packing tape on the back there might be a better way to do it maybe you hot glue it i don't know and then i just took some double sides stick tape and put that on the back of my photo and pressed it down into place and that's it isn't this such a classy way to wrap a gift and you could do this for all of your family members because not only is the gift a gift but the wrapping is also a gift because they have this photo that they can then frame it's beautiful and I think it's just such a lovely way to wrap a gift and I hope that you love that gift wrapping hack well it wouldn't be a holiday hack video if I didn't come up with some kind of like easy arrangement idea because I just love these so my idea was to take some of this glittery faux leather product that you can get pretty much anywhere but I get mine at Hobby Lobby on a roll so I just took a Dollar Tree vase and I kind of rolled it in this gold faux leather thing and then I took a pencil and on the inside I marked where I needed to cut off just a little bit of excess and I just went all the way around and I made sure it was nice and snug then I just cut off the excess and then what I did is I took some double side stick tape and put two rows of it from top to bottom side by side and all we are going to do is line up the edge of one side of the faux leather with it and then we're going to roll our vase inside and finish it off with the other side of the double stick tape and you get it on there nice and tight and it looks super super classy then all you're going to need to do is just put in some pre-made like greenery christmas greenery i just put in a couple of festive picks including a poinsettia and this looks so classy took you less than five minutes but looks so high-end and luxurious and it is just beautiful i love the way this turned out you could make several of them put them down the center of a table if you wanted to just take one of it tuck it into a corner of your kitchen or in your holiday decor somewhere i just love this idea you could make it on a bigger scale like do it like a wider one and really make a big one it's just that glitter leather really packs a punch and makes a statement and i hope you enjoyed that one okay so for our next hack I found this package of bells at Hobby Lobby. Now you don't have to use these ones. You can find like little jingle bells everywhere. It's more concept one, but these ones were really cute. And I think that it was like $4 or so for the package. Cause of course everything's always 50% off. So all you're gonna start out with is I had this beautiful white linen napkin that I got from my friend Stacy. They're 
beautiful. It was a gift to me and I love them. So all we're gonna do is make sure it's just folded in half and then folded in half again so you've got a square. Then you're gonna take the loop that's already attached on this bell and slide it down and act as a napkin ring. And just to finish it off, I took a little sprig of like fake pine and tucked that in underneath the bell and that was it. You just put it on the edge of your plate or in the center. I put it on the edge because my plates have joy on it, but it would look beautiful in the center of your plate. I just think it's a classy and beautiful table setting and I hope you enjoyed that. So in the past, I have given away free Christmas prints and this year is no exception. I don't know if you can see it because it kind of the way the lighting is in here. Right behind me, this is a printable that I'm going to have on my website for you. And this is what makes it so simple. This print is a 20 by 28 and I just printed it out at Walgreens, used a 50% off coupon, made it really affordable. But you can adjust this to whatever size you need. Maybe you already have a frame on hand. I didn't in this size um, and I wanted something that had a presence on this fireplace wall. And I couldn't find a frame that was exactly the right size that I liked and thought would fit in my bedroom. So I got a bigger frame that I think it was like a couple of inches bigger and wider. And so there wasn't really a mat for it. So they had those big pieces of poster board that's meant to make like a mat. And so I just grabbed one of those, but I didn't really want to cut it. So all I did was double side stick taped it to the mat. And honestly, I was surprised how good this looked. So I didn't have to cut anything. I just double sided stick tape that, put it in the frame and that's it. It took me minutes. It was like no time at all. If you already have a mat and a frame that works, you don't even have to do that. Just print out the free printable that I've given you and call it a, and it's beautiful. It's so classy. I love this print. By the way, some people are struggling to do some of the digital downloads on my website. Sometimes you have to recycle the page once you've hit download and then hit the download button again. It's not the case on everybody's computer, but sometimes I don't know if like, there's a cookie thing or if it's your browser. So if you're having trouble downloading it, just hit the download button, refresh it, hit it again, and hopefully that will open it up for you. So I hope that helps some of you. Okay, so I don't know if you've noticed these really cute Christmas ball earrings that I've been wearing this whole episode. Aren't they cute? Okay, that is our next hack and it's so easy. I just got these little tiny Christmas balls from Walmart they sell them everywhere. You can get something just like this at Dollar Tree. And all you need is some little hooks to fish through them. There's a particular type of one where you just kind of thread it through and it just hangs on it. And then you connect it in the back so it doesn't fall off. It's that simple. And wouldn't they be such a cute little gift idea? Look, you'll look festive for your Christmas parties and have like a bunch of them that you could make a, like a 50 cents little gift for somebody, like a little friend gift. And it took you like less than 30 seconds, like super, super fast. And that's what I love about all of these holiday hacks is they are meant to be simple, but I always try to make them very, very classy. And so I hope you feel that way when you watch these videos. So I just wanna thank AG1 again for sponsoring this episode. I was so thrilled when they reached out to me because I just was already such an advocate for them already, even before they reached out to me. I love them. I feel great drinking AG1. And so if you are interested in checking out make sure you click on the link below and it will take you there you'll get like free travel packs you'll get those a year supply of like the vitamin d drops plus the amazing drink and i hope that you see the health benefits that i have if you enjoyed this episode here's another one that i think you'll like as well and to all of my diy goddesses out there you are more powerful than you know we'll see you next time bye